The Fall of the Roman Empire, A New History of Rome and the Barbarians, by Peter Heather offers a fresh perspective on one of the most pivotal periods in history. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the author's arguments, evidence, and overall contribution to our understanding of the Roman Empire's decline. Heather's central argument revolves around the role of barbarian invasions in the fall of the Roman Empire. He challenges the traditional view that internal decay was the primary cause and instead posits that external factors, particularly the relentless pressure exerted by barbarian groups on the Roman frontiers, played a significant role. Heather contends that these barbarian incursions were not mere opportunistic raids but part of a broader strategy aimed at dismantling the Roman Empire. One of the strengths of Heather's work is his meticulous examination of the historical evidence. He draws from a wide range of sources, including archaeological findings, primary texts, and contemporary accounts. By synthesizing these sources, he constructs a comprehensive narrative that spans centuries, offering a nuanced view of the complex interactions between Romans and barbarians. Heather's narrative style is engaging and accessible, making the book accessible to both scholars and general readers. He skillfully weaves together various threads of history, from the migrations of different barbarian groups to the internal power struggles within the Roman Empire. This narrative approach allows readers to follow the evolution of events and appreciate the multifaceted nature of the Roman Empire's decline. One of the key strengths of Heather's argument is his emphasis on the agency of the barbarian groups. He portrays them not as mere hordes of invaders but as organized and dynamic societies with their own goals and strategies. By giving agency to these barbarian groups, Heather challenges the notion of the Romans as passive victims and underscores the complexity of the historical forces at play. Additionally, Heather delves into the socio-political dynamics within both the Roman Empire and the barbarian groups. He explores the role of individual leaders, such as Alaric and Attila, in shaping the course of events. This focus on individual agency adds depth to his analysis and underscores the role of human decisions in historical processes. One of the central arguments put forth by Heather is that the Roman Empire's military capacity was ultimately overwhelmed by the sheer scale of barbarian migrations and invasions. He highlights the Roman reliance on a defensive strategy along their frontiers, which became increasingly unsustainable as the pressure from barbarian groups intensified. This emphasis on military dynamics provides a compelling explanation for the empire's ultimate collapse. Furthermore, Heather discusses the economic and logistical challenges that the Roman Empire faced in dealing with the barbarian threat. He argues that maintaining a vast and sprawling empire placed immense strain on the Roman economy and infrastructure. As a result, the Romans struggled to allocate sufficient resources to defend their frontiers effectively. While Heather's argument is persuasive, some critics may argue that he underestimates the role of internal factors in the Roman Empire's decline. Factors such as political corruption, economic instability, and social unrest did contribute to the empire's vulnerability. However, Heather's counterargument is that these internal issues were, to some extent, exacerbated by the external pressures of barbarian invasions. In conclusion, Peter Heather's The Fall of the Roman Empire, A New History of Rome and the Barbarians, offers a compelling reinterpretation of the Roman Empire's decline. By shifting the focus from internal decay to external pressures, he challenges conventional wisdom and provides a fresh perspective on this critical period in history. Heather's meticulous research, engaging narrative style, and emphasis on the agency of both Romans and barbarians make this book a valuable contribution to our understanding of the fall of the Roman Empire.